morning here in the mighty Atlantic Ocean near the Venezuelan border. Me and the boys, Captain Lapai and crew, we out and about making in a new adventure. We out here to fish for some snapper, trout, gilbaco and anything else that swims here in the high seas but look at that sunrise there by that morning sunrise beautiful as can be as the men prepare their fish nets take a look in the backdrop that beautiful sunrise now you see the board kind of wet it drizzled a moment ago that the rain will fall and obstruct this beautiful sunrise. I mean, look how beautiful it looks so far. All right. Hope you guys have been positive. You're doing fun things. Join us on this adventure and let's have some fun and catch some fish. I am the co-captain today. All right. We have the captain there, and I'm the assistant captain. Okay, okay. I see cameraman. All right. I'm going to be fishing later on today with my fishing rod. Don't you worry. I got to get something. And we're going to cook it. We're not too far away from land. Probably about five miles. But we're at the mouth of the Waini.
Let us not work and work and work to gain the world. And after that, we lose our own soul. We don't get to enjoy it, to celebrate it. Celebrate your life every single day you live it. Don't wait for the right moment. The right moment may never come. Don't wait until you're retired. You may not retire. You may die before you retire. Even if you make it to retirement, you might not be able to enjoy the journey because you're too old and too broken and too tired if you work all your life just to make money. And in the end, the money you made cannot pay your medical bills. So let's, let's celebrate life. Let's enjoy what life has to offer. Celebrate life on, on the way. As you live it, celebrate it. That is why I keep saying celebrate the journey. Enjoy the journey. All right. Let me say amen to that. I'm about to show the that by over. Setting the scene is easy. However, picking up the scene, pulling back the scene into the boat is really problem. We just dropped another than by the halfway mark of the scene. So, so far, it took us 20 minutes to discharge half the scene. So looks like it's going to take us 40 minutes to discharge the scene but it's going to take us about two and a half hours to pick up back the scene even more because if we get a lot of fish you know we got to clear the scene so we call in on the river a river provide us with some snapper and some trout and some um, mackerel and gilbacca and banga and whatever else swimming around here man the boys are almost finished setting the scene. We have probably less than a minute more to go. We're gonna tie the scene to the boat and we're gonna drift for another four hours. Usually they drift for about six hours and then pick up back. But this is a fun trip. We ain't gonna drift for six. We could just drift for about four and then pick up one hour after we settle the scene. I try fishing, I ain't getting no bite, so I give up. Now this is the waiting game now, everybody gonna relax now, sleep, including myself. I don't eh? in my bed. So we gotta relax, wait five hours, stop picking up back the scene. So it's a waiting game right now. 
so we don't oh it's eight o'clock already six thirty we finished dropping this in at one and a half hour since we dropped this in we can start pick up back by 11 o'clock maybe 11 30. all right so my is cooking Gil back a curry at the bottom there in the kitchen but look at the boat rocking from side to side see that and water calm today not not so rough in the meantime we got brunch eight o'clock a morning what we got in the pot there by Gil back a curry start bubbling there mm. nice and we got something more from last night yeah, yeah. We got something wild from the jungle. That's nice, nice. That man is the in the five star hotel level. Pass your arm. These fishermen, I could, I could safely say these fishermen doing better than the housewives, them. Yeah? Eight o'clock at the eye, don't cook lunch. <laughs> hola, hola, what's your way? Nice love, what how many of you housewives finish cooking lunch at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m.? Come on, don't lie. Tell me the truth. Fisherman already good, good, good. Fisherman already finished cooking lunch at 8 a.m. Watch my man we will go there. 11 o'clock on the dot. Five hours later. Since we drop same time to pick up time to bring in them snap on them trout banga and catfish or whatever swimming about Gilbaco hopefully we catch one or two time to bring them trout and snap up Fish time, fish time. Hey, 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 that can. Brace him, brace him, bro. Brace him, bro. The captain in the air. Trout, fish, boy. Fish on the net, that boy. All right. <laughs> Fish on the net. That's what we want. Wah! Snook! Moonfish? Wow. Yeah. This is the fun part. Watching them by pulling the fish. Fun part. Fun time. Look at that boy, he's still alive. Nice great snap up. Mackerel. Fish in the sea in boy. Nice, nice. We get the fish, we get the fish. Overboard. Fish on the scene there right now. We bring in a hammerhead shark there right now. Snap up, boy. That's what you want. That's that's dinner right there, boy. There's a nice little hammerhead shark there. That's what. Oh. Yeah, shark, boy. We're getting a few fish, you know, we're not getting a lot as we were expecting, but we're thankful for what we're catching. Because these guys are commercial fishermen. And this is what they do for a living. Mackerel! You know, cost a lot of money to make one of these trips. Gas. A lot of gas, labor. Fish by fish, bringing them snapper in by yellow and gray snapper. 
One of the two of them, the coat in by, my friend and girlfriend. Big size. <laughs> that a big size there, by. The oven size. Nice, nice. The box looking good there. We bringing in, we bringing in them fish there, by. Fish, by fish. Cavalli. Sandbat. Yes. You got a bat. You had a bat on it there? Gone, okay. So we just huh? Oh more the color. Yeah, we got a cavalli over there, boy. The box looking good then over one. Nice, nice. We got some mud right now. See and get up any more, you see? That's why you don't catch in the fish. Fish by fish on the scene. Bring them two by two. Bring them three by three. Nice, nice. Cavalli and snapper. We got different species here. Eh? You might call it Langjan. Not sure what this is. That is, is it though? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Langjan. What fish by fish? Bring it. What do you eat though? Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Let me see this one. So this this one is top of fish. Top of fish. Is that one a keeper or no? People just eat though? Yeah, yeah, skin them. That's skin it. Okay, okay. Top of. Sweet fish, okay. So different species. I'm seeing some different species I've never seen before. Top of fish? Different species again. I saw about four different species so far that I never saw before. Now, I get my wish there. We got a salmon. Look at that. Uh huh. Beautiful. Three, three, dry, three times you have to walk, right? And you don't get no salmon. And I come for this boat and we get salmon. All right, so I come back for this boat more often, by That man walk six uh, weeks and didn't catch any salmon. So we got one there right now, boy. Nice, nice, nice. Fish, boy. What's that, boy? Coras? Coras, boy. But my Alwyn feels gonna say Corbiti. <laughs> Corbiti. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bring them fish, bring them fish in there. This one inside, looking up. This is how, this is how we want to see the scene. Bring them by the school. All right? Fisherman just laugh when you see this kind of sight on the scene, oh, man. Right? The fisherman just laugh when they see this kind of sighting on the scene. A lot of fish coming up. It's happy time, nice time. The fish continue to come in, man. One by one, two by two, three by three, four by four. Look, fish there. Cavalli, snapper, coras, coquari. You know, look. More coming up here, snapper coming up. That's how we like to see it. When you bring in the fish, you bring in the fish. Mackerel, bring them two by two. Bring them three by three. Uh huh. Fish in the scene, by fish in the scene. It is rapid walk, steady walk. You don't get time to rest. Eh? Fish, boy. We're catching, we're catching the fish. We're catching them. Everybody busy except me, Ricardo. You understand? But I'm busy, Ricardo. Double trouble here, manners. That's how we like see them. All right, bring them in. Bring them in like that, Father God. The box looking good, them on. Gotta keep wetting the fish, you know, to keep them fresh. Fish, boy, fish. That's how we like see them in a school. Look at it. Look at it. it. Fish and more fish. 
Nice. The box looking up all good demo. We got fish, we got fish. Catching them. We are almost to the end of the seal. The seal done by over that side. Look at this. When you see this on the scene, you feel happy. Them are smiling. When you get them like this. They're smiling, trust me. Alright, alright, we got a couple of them coming up there. Nice, nice, that's all I see them. We're coming to the end of the um, scene here right now. We bring up half a dozen there. Yeah, we got one over here. Nice, see right across there, you see the flag flying? On the standby. So, we got a lot of scene. It's been an amazing 12 hours on the water. From 2 a.m. to now 1.30. So it's like 11 and a half hour. Get up for a Huh? <laughs> Get up for a long. <laughs> yeah, amazing time. You got another six hours to head back to the landing. Yeah, so everybody smiles in now, man. Coming to the end of the scene. We got a decent amount of fish. Fish, why? Set up the watch. You might say watchy. Wow, oh, that's the end of the scene. Wow. <laughs> so that's it. All right. So, look at it there. Nice catch there, boy. We got about 200 fish there. Trust me. Couldn't ask for anything better. Next, the my guy got so the fish, I stung the fish. And we gotta fry a couple of the fish. You're eating them fresh from the Atlantic in the frying pan. Can't get better than that. Now the work begins. See all them fellas, the guy got so the fish there. Clean it out, and then you know, wash it and ice it down. Hey. Yeah, we got a nice salmon there, boy. I'm going back to Josh. Some little salmon, a snap of them trout, and some mackerel. Coming back to Josh, Tom. Fresh out of the Atlantic, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How? How can hey. life get better than this? Life can get better than this boy. All right, great catch, right? Yeah, yeah. Lovely, yeah, yeah. lovely, lovely. Yeah. Huh. We got an awesome, awesome catch here today. Life can get better than this day, boy. We in the mighty Atlantic, close to the Venezuela border. Danny, snap an egg, boy. Snap an egg, look at that, boy, fresh. That gonna be caught us this afternoon, boy. <laughs> all right, all right. Look at that, look at that. Wow, we on the Guyana border with Venezuela and we fishing for mackerel, snapper, trout, catfish, gilbaka, kuras, whatever swim by, we fishing for. Alright, fun time here, can't get better than this here. While the boys processing the fish, the birds are here. Every time they throw the waste product from the fish, you know, the, the gut and the liver and whatever the components inside the fish, the gills the birds will go and get them see that? look at that so we're heading in back to Waini Mouth now all of this here is Shell Beach but it's rapidly disappearing you would have seen a video I made here um, a couple days ago but it was raining a lot, so I didn't get to give you a clear visual of Shell Beach, but it's rapidly deteriorating, you know, it's, it's, it's eroding rapidly, you know. Most of the folks that were living on the beach, according to Captain Blackby, they all moved from here. Just one or two or a couple of houses remaining. But I saw one so far remaining. They even moved the school and the health center from here, from Shell Beach, all right? Look at the catch there, boy. Look at it. 
Look at that. Nice catch. And over here, I don't call it me. Stuff with you know, nice eggs, more eggs, catfish, salmon, and it's a wild cat. At farmers, wild cat. Now, somebody is preparing the box there to ice up the fish. Out the Atlantic in the Karahi just now. Can't get better than this, eh, man. And we're passing by Shell Beach here right now. That right there is the Shell Beach. There's a the beginning of the Shell Beach. Hit them fellas camping there and fishing, man. Right on Shell Beach at the beginning of Shell Beach. There's Mora Passage. I had the way we're going in, and this is Whiny. Whiny Mountain here. And Shell Beach begins here. You can see the destruction, man, in a distance. You know, I did a video here recently. Hope you, you, you check it out. If you haven't, please check it out. Shell Beach um, Lime or Shell Beach Fun Day. We camp out here on Fun Day, cricket and all them things, man. We cook and so on, then we go around for a drive at the other side of Shell Beach here. But the water was so rough because the weather was so bad, we couldn't come to shore. We just drive by. It was raining a lot and storm heavy winds. But we picnic down here, man. Really beautiful, man. Shell Beach is a must. You know, if you come to Guyana, put Shell Beach on your um, your list, your bucket list. It's beautiful. Before it disappear, check it out. Got a small boat fishing there by Banga Mary boat. See the man that by out here, the black flag. You got another big boat over there. And this is a closer look of the Shell Beach here. Ready, ready, them fellas camping there right now, man, and fishing. See the Hawaiian board down there. The man fishing around here. We did well, man. We got over 100 mackerel, probably about 50 um, trout and snapper. So we got a nice 150 fish, man. Nice catch with some other fish here. Maybe 200 fish. Very, very good catch today. Couldn't ask for anything better. Everybody, we are pleased. We're happy with the catch. Later on this afternoon, we go fry some of the fish. You know, we got some shark, we got some fish eggs, some mackerel eggs, dinner, you know, and maybe we plant in. Now this is how you just ice down the fish, right? To keep it fresh. Uh, so them buys greens and vegetables and things are in here, you know, and we we lab on we wild hog and thing. From the Atlantic to the kitchen, some garlic. I see some pepper, some salt, and some aji. Can't get better and fresher than that, boy. Captain Push Black, boy. Mix up and start, and start frying there. And we get a stove light up there. Aye. Boy, fry fish. We gotta knock something, Black. Why are we knocking on fry fish, right? We knocking on them? We gotta knock something with fry fish, you know. But boy, Golo, always tell me. When you're cooking something good, you gotta knock something, you know, you gotta lash something else. You gotta knock a thing, all right? Good. Ladies, I want you all to see, these are hard-working men, single men. All right, three of them, hey, single, hard-working. All right, you have the green short one, the one with no short, and the other one at the end there. This one at the bottom with the red short, he taken already. But well, the other three, them by sing, them by single, right? And they could do housework, they could cook, they could wash, they could fish, they could do a lot of things. So, you have put in your application, right? Can life get any better than this, eh, boy? Fry fish out of the Atlantic Ocean. Bring the Johnny water. Time to start over. We eating fresh bangam neri. And we drinking some Johnny. We don't hear in Barima Waini Catching Banga Mary We lashing with some Johnny How can life get any better than this? Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The 
world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Creek is where these boys are living. All the sailors on the boat. So we're right here back. So you know, we're going to ice up back the, um, the ice box, you know, because we got ice down the fish. I'm still frying fish there in the, in the kitchen. We got with Johnny there. We're beating, you know. Oh my God, Jack. Gentleman's Jack at the front there. You know, compliments of by Bush from New York. My Ravin. Out. Ravin, that bottle took three days and it's still in finish. Three days, bro. Every afternoon we knock with dinner, we knock in a two shot, you know. Alright? So we're back here, we're gonna ice up back, fuel up. These boys are gonna go back out on Saturday morning back into the water. And I'm, head, I'm gonna head back to Georgetown Saturday or Sunday. Hope you guys enjoy the fishing adventure today. Hope you're being positive, you're being fun. Celebrate your life. I wanna thank you for the privilege of your time. 
take care of you those around you what we can do now we're gonna drop these boys off after we finish icing up and we're gonna head back to Kamaka to rest down for the night we're gonna lash the fish some plantain and some Johnny all right take care God bless you all and please check out the other videos I made here in Northwest District Kumaka Mabaruma which borders Venezuela Guyana border with Venezuela in this area I have a lot of videos please check them out take care see you on the next adventure